No, just quickly, we're starting a, uh, a clips channel, yeah? Yeah. Right? HC Pod Clips. Okay. Um, do you know what I, des I decided? I'm not going to post anything on there until we get. What? Let's start with a thousand subscribers. Let's mm. do that. So let's get a thousand people over there. HC, I'm going to put that in the thing as well. Yeah. And then we'll start putting the clips on there too, yeah? Because oh. I noticed we were, I was putting clips on the, this main channel. And it was fine, but there was bare people just saying, start a clips channel. So fuck it. We'll start a clips. We've done one. And it's there. So uh, subscribe, yeah? Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>
not supposed to be and all them things. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Like, Gallo was saying, shut up, mad. Mad. Yeah. Wait, hang on. But nah, in, the, in, nah, in a nah. nutshell. Nah, I'm turned off. I'm not into I'm not this. into that. That's not my thing. <laughs> but there are people that are into that. But do you know what? Sometimes for some people, yeah, you can pay somebody enough to do that. Mm. Do you get me? Mm. So like, you. the reality is, see with me, if you're asking me two bills to go and say this to a certain type of girl, I'm not going to do that. But you could pay me a certain amount of money for me to do it though. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? It so might be 50 price. bags, it might be 100 bags, it might be 5 million, it might be 100 million, but there's a price that you could pay me to do that. I don't know what that is, but I could do that and still not feel a, a racially... Wait a minute, so when you say do that, to, to receive... The, let's the say, no, let's say, or... there was, let's say there was an Indian girl yeah. that had said to me, you know, I'm chopping a rich Indian girl or whatever, and she said to me, yo, I'm going to offer you something for you to call me a thing. Mm. <laughs> for two bills, I'm not doing it. Mm. For a bag, I'm not doing it. For five bags, I'm not doing it. But I'll tell you something, behind closed doors and no one's watching me... <laughs> 50 racks so you might be but the, the fact of the matter is regardless of what the price is either way mm. I'm still being a I'm, you're still going to get me with money whether it is two bills or five million right, so that right. was the, my, my, my first thing yeah then my second thing was who is this guy he's a dude who his fan base was predominantly black and Asian women and right. one thing I was saying to Poet is that like if this was a white man talking to a white audience and that his, these videos would come out, I wouldn't talk to him. There would be no reason for me to do that. We're not like, there's there's no connection here at all. Mm -hmm. But because his audience is essentially an extension of me and us, mm -hmm. that's another conversation. Right. So you're, I'm adding these things into the pot. You've got an audience that is an extension of us. Yeah, they've let you in mm -hmm. and made you the guy mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And then <laughs> this has come up. What is that about? So mm. I f and also adding to the fact that like I know people that work within the kink world. So I'm I'm saying to myself, you, you know, what? I'm saying to myself, you know what? Let me sit down and have a conversation with him to find out exactly what this was about. Mm. And I think a lot of people that know me and know my personality probably thought that when I sat him down on the couch that I was like pally pally with him and mm. taking pictures with what, him. They're and going was, off of a snippet, right? They're going off of, of a snippet. Like, like when he yeah. sat down. I'm like, and I say this respectfully as well, yeah. I metaphorically had him there on the couch. But right, right, right. what you all he needed to do is tell whatever his truth was, yeah, At, for his audience and for whatever, and make and try to make an understanding of something. Mm -hmm. I think that he would have been able to do that. And I think that even if I think as well that like, Sorry. I think that as well like, there's if I took the man away from the situation, yeah? And I was reading what he was saying on a piece of paper. I could, I definitely could get where he was coming from. Being sexually abused, being homeless, being vulnerable, being outside and then being 19. So and that's a, his whole story. That's, that's his led story. To thing. That's his story, yeah? Mm. Now, and a, meeting an older man and then finding himself in this situation and then, all, you know, you get, you, start, you get paid to do X, Y, and Z and whatnot. And these are things that he was doing when he was young. I could see how somebody could do that. The biggest question was though, is it your truth? Mm. Is that your truth? Do I believe or do we believe that that is your truth? And that's for people to decide where, if, if you fuck with this brother or you followed him and you liked him or whatever, yeah? If you've heard his story, now you can turn around and then say, you know what? Nah, I kind of hear him still. Like, I get it. Or you might turn around and say, nah, fuck that, bro. I could not, I could, there's no way. There's no way. But that's for him, that's for the, that's for the people to decide. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Either way, there's a conversation to be had in there. But I'll end it by saying this just quickly. We'll talk about it, but like, mm. one, there were still so many messages from people that were like, you know, I've been following this guy and you asked all of the questions that I need, I just wanted to hear from him. Yeah. But they were just they, like, the constructive criticism was that they felt that maybe he over explained or maybe he, they, he seemed disingenuous. Like right. they, just, they didn't feel like he was being genuine. But they right. ultimately, they appreciated the conversation though because they followed him and fucked with him and they just wanted to know what the hell that was about. Yeah, you get yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But my bro, if, the one thing that people will criticize me on, yeah, mm -hmm. and really cr critique me and really be mad about mm -hmm. is the fact that I ask why. 
If that's the thing that I I ask why, like why is that? Like what is that about? If that's the thing that you're gonna critique me on, bro, I'll die on that tomorrow. That's not right. a problem for me. Do you get what I'm saying? It's easy, but I'll do I'll do the same thing again to, today at four p.m. and I'll ask the same <laughs> thing. Why? It's right. not like someone's catching me out on flipping being a misogynist or a yeah. colorist or a fucking. You get what I'm saying or doing a map. I sat somebody on the couch and asked them why. What was that about? Yeah. Like, and he was somebody who spoke to a black audience, right? Who, which is an extension yeah. of us. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. either pass it or you don't pass it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, but okay. the internet okay. see, will see it more as yeah. why is he having? And it's a- just mad because if you're just casual like me and I don't even know nothing about the situation, and that's my entry point to it, where you're getting flack. Yeah, it's like fuck. Like, what's Chucky done? That's my <laughs> first thing. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, I had a conversation with a Don who, like, people feel like he was caught out being racist. Essentially, mm. that's what that's the way that they saw it. And I get it, and it makes all this. And I don't see that that outrage. I fully understand it. Mm. I got why that was even triggering for some people. Do you get me? Do you think yeah um, that all the flack is coming from people that don't listen to you anyway, bro? Honest, you see, like we're having this conversation now, yeah. The audience that's here already get it. Whether because they, they know what whether they like. know, they know me. You see, like all of the other stuff. The one, the reason why it's so easy to ignore it is because you're never here anyway. You yeah. lot are never here. And we're having this conversation now. They're not here, bro. <clears throat> they're not here. Yeah. And bro, I had a conversation just yesterday. Not yesterday. The, I think the episode before that went out. I had a conversation with Loyal Kana, artist. I had a deep conversation about, check you up. know, yeah, on the checkup, where he comes from, the risk that he took musically, being mixed race, this, that, and the fourth. Yeah. You know, sit, we'll sit here and have conversations <laughs> about all different types of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they don't, they're not there for that. They don't, they're not, that's not their thing. They're here for the smoke, yeah. but they will act as though they don't want the smoke. Yeah. Like, why do you, you know, that what they would have wanted to see more than anything is for, for example, Poet to be here and absolutely smash him to pieces. Mm -hmm. And for me, sometimes I think that that's not constructive. And that's sometimes one of the reasons why I say not, Poet, like maybe this episode is not for you. Because I know that's my brethren. And I know I've got got other brethren that's like that. In some rooms, you know what places to have them in or whatever. And in some rooms, you just think, nah, like if there's a conversation to be had and whatnot, sometimes, sometimes you can just let somebody speak a critique just you can you can almost trip them up just by questions mm-hmm. not by saying you're a fucking yeah. you're <laughs> a this you're a that just but speak like to them. Mm. Th- that's kind of what they want to see if they if anything that's what they want to see but they say that they don't want to see that and they don't want the bro they don't know what they so want. they wanted more outrage from you in that conversation. But they didn't see of, it though. Instead of the smart. A lot of them didn't see it though. Yeah. A lot of them just saw a clip of me just yeah. talking to him. So then ne- their, their instant reaction is, if they know a little bit about me, they'll probably just think that, oh, like Chucks is a nice guy or whatever. And he was just mm. a, a nice guy talking to this guy. Why the fuck is he talking to this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's like, no, if you watch it, I'd but that's ask- why I said that, that. Do you think the, the, the people that are outraged and are, you know, going at you at this point is like, they're not really the listeners anyway, because like from what I gather, from what I know of you, you're that person that is you want to know stuff. Like yeah, you're yeah. gonna ask a question, you're gonna speak to the people that's not the regular person, because you want to know something. Mm. Not not everyone's like that. No, do you know what I'm saying in this field. So it's like yeah, so I'm just and that's fine. And that, the thing is, for me, that's fine. Like I understand me being inquisitive doesn't make me better than anyone else. Nah, but it's just, it's just, it's just it's your I, style of it's things. It's just my it? style like, of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. I just, I kind of want to know, like if I, the one thing that I took from that conversation more than anything was, yes, I'm definitely doing an episode with a sex therapist and I'm definitely doing an episode with a sex worker mm. because even though there was a lot of questionable things that he said, the reality is, yeah, in this life, there is mad kinks out there. <laughs> and I've, I'm curious to know where them kinks come from and why they exist. And one of the things that I said to him was, like, I, I talked about kink shaming and I said to him, I believe in kink shaming. I believe that 
and, and I don't know what the, the actual word is because maybe it's not the shaming, but I'm like, if your kink is based upon your trauma, I don't, I don't rate that. Mm. So like, if, you know, say I'm, I'm chopping a gal or whatnot now, yeah? And she wants me, because enough gal want, let's be clear, enough gal want the little chokage thing. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? A little young, a little young, they love. As soon, as soon as you do that, you see gal <laughs> melting in it. Like, she's all stiff first, but you put the hand on the thing and she's just, <laughs> but look, if that's just a sexual pleasure, mm. if you like it, I love it. Right, right. But if I'm doing that and you're thinking in your head, oh yeah, my dad used to do this to me when I <laughs> yeah, that's then sick. then I'm not nah. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, I got I got to not necessarily shame you, but something's got to happen for you to address that because I'm not really on that. Do you understand mm-hmm, what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Mm-hmm. But course. there is a conversation about kinks though, and I'm and I'm 100 on that. But I think I think that conversation is more. Let's say it would probably be more for Dan to be here and have that conversation about kinks than maybe poet because I know that he's not really. You know, when it gets to a certain point with kinks and that, he's not really on that. Like, what are you sure. talking about? You're going to be doing what? The conversation just gets shut down completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fair, though. Mm-hmm. My dad is the same way. Mm-hmm. My cousins, I've got enough cousins who are the same way or whatever. But there's a there's a group of people that's out there that, or a demographic of people that's out there that kind of want to know a little bit more beneath the surface. Why is that? And is there substance to it? Do you mm. get me? Mm. Yeah, no, it's definitely a weird area. I don't know, like... Like I say, I don't navigate that, so I don't know what, <laughs> yeah. what the uh, <laughs> what the demand is. But yeah, yeah, you will know if anything. You hear me? So and you can get that answer. Yeah, of course, man. And then we go back and talk about music again. Do you know what I mean? Just like read it, read the beauty, the beauty of what I do, yeah, is that like I can come here and I can just do what I want, bro. Yeah. Like one day, I could just I could have a conversation with somebody who's just in. Well, that in is kinks. the thing. Sorry to cut you. And this is kind of like where. I kind of fall off of like these platforms because it's like what I notice here yeah, these platforms what I remember was built off of not being politically correct per right. se or media trained and right. asking all the things that need to be do you get what I'm saying TV it's not TV right. so it's like this is built off of doing what's not what what is not the norm right and you know maybe delving into areas asking the questions that you can't get on ITV BBC whatever right. So, but what I do see now is everybody's like seeing the fruits off of what you get from these things and they're switching up their their styles now. They're getting more PC about everything. They're watching what they say. They don't want to do this. I'm not to say you got to go on these platforms and be reckless, yeah? But like people are, I feel like people's minds are on other things external from what they got into this for, what, you know, these, these, these platforms were here for. Mm. And I just think kind of... It's dead. It's, it's defeats the object for me, and I don't. I don't care no more. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it, it's one of the ones where, yeah, you're just gonna have to deal with certain conversations because that's what these. This is what these platforms are supposed to be about. Like, if you don't like it, just switch off. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that's always the answer to, to most things. You get me? Hundred million percent. There's enough conversations to be had, and sometimes you just have them, and some people just don't rate them, and that and that is fine. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Mm, like mm. to me. To me, that is fine. But in a nutshell, I think with Murad, the, the, the key factor more than anything was, this was a Don who had a, an audience that was predominantly black and Asian. Right. And a lot of them were women as well. And that is an audience that is an extension of us. These people essentially let him in respectfully because of whatever it was that he was, however he was engaging and whatnot. I know that he was apparently holding people to, a, you know, to account when they were doing certain things and whatnot. And it seemed like a massive contradiction. Yeah. So that was like the main factor though, like right. his audience and who he spoke to. And then the second thing was, well, do you know what? Kinks actually really do exist though. Like that's actually a, re- that's a, that's a thing. Mm-hmm. And, and do you know what? Like in this life, you'd be very surprised at what people are willing to do when nobody's watching them. That's, that's the next mm-hmm. thing. And also like, I understand that we can all use the thumbs, and we can all do, ah, oh my God. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you something. What are you willing to do for a Louis bag, though, when no one's looking at you? Right. You'd be very, we'd be very surprised at what's going to happen. And all Listen, that. Yeah. and all I told that. there was a couple of men that I said that, that had hit me up and they was on the same outrage thing. And I said to them, yeah, I just need a yes or a no. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying what my man did was right or wrong or anything like this. Just take this, push this aside for one second, yeah? Mm. If you, me and you are having a conversation right now, if 
you was having sex with a rich Indian woman, yeah, and you was in survival mode. Let's say you was in survival mode and you was having sex with a rich Indian woman, yeah, and behind closed doors, she said to you, I am going to pay you a certain amount of money to call me the P word. Are you doing it? <laughs> Are you doing it? And look, I get it because some people will say, rah, my man was doing it only for like two bills or whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I hear that. I hear that argument. Like, I definitely hear it. But my point is, is that the money is the money though. You're still mm. doing it for what, you still have a price. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. So then ultimately your argument now is about <laughs> how much somebody is willing to do it for, mm. then that changes the conversation mm -hmm. because you're still willing to do it yeah. for something. It's just that this person's willing to do it for lower and you're going to do it higher. That changes the conversation and it also changes your outrage. Mm -hmm. These things, for me, when I put them in a the pot, I'm like, yeah, there's, there's, there's a context that somebody could break down that would make me understand it. Is it your truth and are you able to do it? And that was one of the reasons why I sat down and had a conversation with him. Right. So like, so so now I guess it's just about whether the people that actually watched it do, how do you feel about him now? Having him on the couch didn't mean that I believed him mm -hmm. or that I supported what he was doing mm. or that I forgave him. Mm. I think like enough times you should be able to sit down with somebody that you don't even really agree with like that and like, mm. and, and talk to, there's growth in that. Mm. Even if, even if it's not today, sometimes there's a certain things that some people could say that may, might make you either confirm your belief even more, or it might shift it just a tiny bit. Mm. But the reality is, is that we, the, the world is made up of different colors and shit. And like, sometimes some people do things for these mad reasons. And some people, sometimes it just is where it is. Guess what? Maybe he's just racist. There's that as well. Maybe he's just racist. This is it. Maybe he's, maybe he's just been faking it that whole time or whatnot. But do you know what, yeah? In the line of questioning, you're on the couch. What are you gonna do with it? Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. The thing is, like I said, I haven't even seen the whole thing, and I don't know who he is, so I can't even, I can't even give you. Yeah, no, of course. Right now, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, would, yeah. I, would, I would like to. I would yeah. like to get. Not into people that. just. You not people were just like not the the like. Because just fundamentally, I don't. I'm not on that when people are out here doing one thing and then behind the scenes. Hundred, I hear that. that. Not on it. I I'm not on it, and I, yeah. and I feel like I have a good gauge for people like that anyway. Yeah. When I see him, it's like, yeah, you did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you're this is you're out. You're saying this in front of the camera, mm. but behind closed doors, this is who you actually mm. really are. Like, and that, I guess that's another conversation, isn't it? Is that who he is still today, or is this what he's saying? Being a 19 year old homeless person who's been sexually abused. He was 19. Oh shit. So, you know, he's saying he was sexually abused. He's mm. saying that he was homeless and like this was his thing or whatnot and he met an older man and a, a, he just he needed a, a some an escapism in it to mm. get out of his uh, out of his environment he said he did it for a couple of years and then he was out of it is it his truth could could if i took the man away from it and you wrote this down on a piece of paper could i understand how somebody could get into that yeah of course i do but do i believe you mm. do i believe you though because you know what like there's um what I find is a lot of people working the internet and the system because they know the route it takes to get someone says so like, okay, cool, I'm gonna sad fish for a minute. I'm gonna be act like a victim. Yeah. Then I'm gonna, you know, have my moment where I'm just, you know, I rise like a phoenix. And then it's, you get what I'm saying? And like, it's like that, that um, whole route is almost mapped out. People have that plan yeah. and I see it. And I'm just like, ah. Oh. So it's it's sad to say though, but like when people come, when people are talking about things, sometimes it's sad because I don't like it. Cause I, cause I find myself like doubting whatever you're you're talking about initially right. because I'm just like, you know what, I need to look into this. Or I need to where really I shouldn't have to. If you've just told me that this is the situation, blah blah blah, and really I went through this, da da da. But it's like there's so many frauds out there, man. Trust me, I don't like, put nothing. I don't put nothing past anyone, really. Man. I'm just like. Oh. You know, I don't put m much past anyone, bruv. It's, it's mad out here. Bruv, it's crazy out here. Yeah, it is bro, crazy out bro. here. And again, you just don't know what people are doing behind closed doors, bruv. It's not, it is actually, it is nuts out here. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, man, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. The, the, it's an interesting game, man. It's an interesting thing. And I think for me, 
the backlash, like I didn't feel it as much. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why, like one of the reasons why I didn't feel it is because as when the in, when the internet starts doing all of that, yeah, usually I just ignore it. Mm -hmm. So like I'm I don't read the like I'm not reading. One I'm just I made a pact to myself from time ago. Like I'm trying to not engage with anyone who has a fucking they don't have an avatar or the avatars a fucking cartoon or something. Oh, yeah, like no. like, I'm not no. even doing that. That's hell one thing. No, there's, there's just, I'm not nothing. sitting there doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that's one. And secondly, like it doesn't make sense me going back and forth with people who don't, who possibly are not even watching or understanding what it is that I'm doing anyway. You're mm. not going to get your. There's nothing that I can say. There's nothing that I can say that is going to make you have an understanding of anything. Even if God came down and said, nah, ch like, trust me, this uh -huh. is what it is or whatever. You're gonna wanna just be in this because that's just what you what you wanna do. And I think that, that is okay. But I'm not gonna sit there and like spend too much time nah, looking can't. at all of that. Like that's not, I literally, when I go in the gram, yeah? When I go in my gram, like I'll go in and then I'll see like, say I go to the like, I see like, ah. Oh. And usually it's like, there's cartoons or there's like, um, you know, you will see, I think in this take, cause Shade Bar posted it, you'll see like a lot of women's faces or whatever, but you just see a name. And like, I can see like this, yeah. See like when you're scrolling, like you're not, you can't see anything. You can see things, yeah. like you can see emojis or whatever, yeah. but you can't see words in it. So like, that's my, t I just go and I'm like, oh no, no, it's just, okay, boom. Then I go and I just see my private messages. And more often than not, 99 times out of 100, the private messages are more on the, yo, like, this is what I thought. It's more constructive. Yeah, it's it? like, oh, you know, I watched this or I saw that and, like, mm. this is how I felt about it. Yeah. And then those ones, more time, I'll just, if I've you're got some time... You're more compelling to engage in the deal yeah, because it's actually, like, yeah, you're seeing points of views, like, legit ones. Yeah, 100%. Whether, whether you agree or not. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, when it's on the front, it's just, yeah, I know it can be mad. I just <laughs> see it, I see it, I see it, I see just even just in other situations, I'm just like, rah, this is wild. How wild it just, like, you just see the fire getting bigger and bigger Nuts. in these comments. It's like, Trust it's blowing me. up. But I think a lot of it, yeah, it, like, if it's happening to you, you can, like, it can play tricks with you in your mind in making you feel like it's bigger than what it actually really is. Because ultimately, yeah, when you come out of the app, it doesn't exist though. Mm. Do you get me? Mm. Like when I'm outside, that same thing, if I'm like reading that, that same thing, I don't see it. I don't, yeah, it's not like, it. and anyone that like usually comes up and has some type of a problem or whatever, again, it usually comes from a place of, ah, oh, do you know what? Like I thought like, why did you do that? Or mm -hmm. why did, mm -hmm. and then we just, then we just talk about it and it's yeah. like, yeah, I didn't really rate when, or I didn't really like when, and then yeah. you just tell, and then you, you like, you build something off of that. but. It's so easy to just just be mad on the internet. But everybody yeah, that, knows like, that though, and that's why they do it, man. Like, so it's it's, it's jarring, and it's bro. Like you said, it's not even worth the energy because you know what it is now. I've you heard, definitely bro. know what it is. You've been way too long. I've been like, here for time, bro. And so, you know what? I know, I know what I'm doing and why I'm here. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So like, the rest of it is. It's a mute. I think me and him spoke on the phone a couple of times. He's like, yo, have you seen the comments? I'm like, come on, brother. You know my thing, man. Mm. It's not really like the times when I go in the comments, especially on YouTube, is when I actually want to learn something. Yeah. I remember one time I did a, I had a conversation where I was kind of terrified to put Poet on this episode because I didn't know what he was going to do yet. <laughs> but it was around the time it was a conversation about blacks and Jews. I can't remember what the context was. But I came here. Oh, it was Wiley. Okay. It was Wiley. And so like, I came here and I did the episode on my own with Callum mm -hmm. and I was like, look, obviously I'm not condoning his actions because I just think that the actions was just <clears> mad. <throat> However, I think there's a conversation that we should have in with the elephant in the room with regards to black people and Jewish people. Mm -hmm. Like there's an elephant in the room mm -hmm. and we should discuss the elephant in the room. And so I talked about that and I said, like today I'm in the comments today. Like, and I need people to teach me yeah, like yeah, what yeah, it is, yeah, like what yeah. am I missing or what yeah. are we missing or whatever so I can understand the perspective. Big man, I was in the comments for days. <laughs> days, just reading them and yeah. reading them and like yeah, because trying you to do understand get, You do get some smart people in there that have context or just more knowledge on the situation. Look at my man, you know, on, I passed man. through. What oh, Jordy's here again. They are. Is that my con? Oh, JTK is one of the best dressed people I know, you know. Oh, whatever, Negro. Brother, have you looked at the what? trainers? Is the trainers in shot? 
Needs to be. I don't even Yo! Can I, I be honest with you? Where else to charge it? Yeah, like. Where's he, my tick? I don't, those are yours as well, yeah? Hmm? Those are yours. He's mine, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm holding feelings. Those are cold, bro. Yeah, so, no, 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 no. You know no, what? They're, they're I'm holding um, feelings, bro. They're, in, they're on the truck now from Portugal. They're on the way here. I was gonna say, because they're not here now in size yeah. seven. No, I can't. I couldn't bring them. <laughs> that's why I'm holding seven, That's yeah. why I'm holding feelings. <laughs> yeah, it's, cool, it's cool. Come on. But. Um, Where's my size seven, fam? Well, you're a size, you're a size twelve it's or some shit like that. Yeah, like, like that, innit? You tell them oh, I'm a size yeah, fifteen, and they like. start getting all weak <laughs> and thinking that because you got that, that you got a next kind of thing or whatnot. Well, it's right yeah. when it comes to me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want proof, don't worry, man. I'll show you the yeah live. <laughs> but um, <laughs> <laughs> when they try to have that conversation. <laughs> Trainers are cold, fam. Yeah, They're that's so a... cold, bro. My God, you know, so we finished now. We're ready. The attention to detail is so we're sick ready. as well. On, the, Wait, on it, Instagram, do, elaborate on them. Like what? Like talk about them anyway. Talk that up. Yeah. So no. So yeah, I've been working on this for a few years now. Really, um, COVID kind of set back a lot of things. Obviously, like it did for everyone. But yeah, it's my new brand. It's called Hyphenet. Um, yeah, like there's so many places I could start, so many things I could talk about in it. Mm. Like, and, we'll go from the beginning. Boy, we'll go back. The, where is the beginning? The beginning. Okay, cool. Well, I've always wanted to have my own shoe company. Do you get what I'm saying? So, but it's just something obviously you've got to have time for and headspace and just know how to do it. Um, the saying that, like, I'm, always, I'm, still, I'm learning on the go as well. But long story short, I met a I met a designer, a young designer from that just came out of Central Saint Martins, and he had hit me because obviously off the back of Crep Protect, all these things, you know, people might know I'm into shoes, innit? So he's hit me and he's um he's like, oh yeah, like I'm, you know, I design shoes, da 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 da. Would you want to get involved? Like not even get involved, sorry, but like I he was kind of offering his services to me. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? If I ever wanted to do something, so I'm like sick. So kind of knew that was there, and then when I when I had the time to do it and get into it now. I just hit him. And Sick. then from there, yeah, we just started obviously designing, going over beer things. And um, <coughs> and then, <coughs> sorry, then we just got into the process of it, which was obviously from design to then, you know, factories, going through multiple factories. Cause that's, that's where it got really time consuming and and where we had to learn a lot because of obviously you just go, you, we're going all around the world. So we're from China to Portugal, to Italy, um, trying to find the right place to, get these made because obviously you, you know you want things done at a certain quality you wanted to get at the right price point etc so yeah it was finding that finding that sweet spot and that took time do you get what I'm saying and then through that process you're going to get factories that don't care about you factories that are going to try and bump you are bumping you do you get what I'm saying mm. and yeah you just have to fight for all of that and get to somewhere where you know you're at peace and that you've got a good deal, good setup with them, and then that's where I'm at now. So um, mm. yeah, like we just, I just came back from there. To be fair, I flew out there to just go and go over the last little quality checks in regards to what's coming out. So yeah, done that, and um, yeah, we're here now. We're now here. they're cold. Do you know what? I swear we did an episode time. I don't, I can't remember what we was talking about, but it was like why more people haven't like tried the shooting. Yes, is it. We all, yeah, we're into the we're into the garments a lot, and it's like, well, it made sense for me to do that because I'm a man that's known for this. Mm-hmm. Just in because a lot of us are a lot of us are sneakerheads. We love our shoes. We we consume in it, but we're not getting into that. Well, who's the next Phil Knight? Mm. Etc. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like not to try to say oh, I'm gonna be the next Phil Knight, but it's like, yeah, it's like we're not even trying like enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. There yeah. is brands big up Clint's and that. Like I've seen their stuff. I like those guys. But we don't really have it. You got the Dutch boys that are doing their thing, filling pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I fuck with like, them heavy. Yeah, of course. Like from here though, who's doing? You know, this? we're yeah, heavy true. on this yeah, thing yeah, that's consumption true. of these things. We know our stuff when it comes to shoes. I see my man got the yeah me strong. I know your thing. So you know, like it's like yeah, we need to we need to do this, and why not me do it? Right. Why not me do it? Do you know what I'm saying? It's like it's a genuine passion of mine. So. Let's get into it. Oh, do you know what I mean? shit. So, be the change you want to see, though. Yeah, you know? exactly. And, and that's how I live. That's how I live. Be the change. I don't sit and moan about nothing. I can't. I can't get on the net and do outrage. And why aren't we doing this? And did it, did it, did it. Like, 
it's not me, man. Because chances are, <laughs> half the time, it's just, we do that. And then, yeah, it's just for the outrage sake, isn't it? Like, yeah. And then, w- w- what's the solution? Yeah, couple no. RTs, couple likes. Yeah, like, do I, no I, outcome. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't give a shit, honestly. Um, I'd rather just do it and then, yeah, we can get involved in They're it. They're cold, actually. I'm not even going to lie, bro. They When, so what? When do they, what? What's the thing? So these are landing on the, tw- when is it? So the landings on the 24th? Yeah. Of what? Of when? This, this month? This month, November. 24th, yeah, so yeah on the Thursday. By the time you see this, they'll be here. By the time, no, okay. This comes no, out wait. on Sunday. This comes out on Sunday. Oh, tra- okay then, well, yeah. <laughs> so right. Right. Yeah, you know, I was trying to work work it and be smart. Yeah, yeah trying to yeah, be yeah. smart, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah nah, it's nah. out now, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 now, for my understanding, it's the twenty fourth on a Thursday. I was trying then... to do that. Yeah, so we've got so yeah, I've got a launch from the twenty fourth to the twenty sixth in um, Shoreditch. If you want the details, sign up to the website. You'll get yes. all of that. Right, just give um, me the thing and I'll pull it in the um yeah, in the, yeah, the bio yeah, 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 dot com. But um yeah, I'll give you all that. But yeah, sign up. You'll get your invite and come down, man. Come down. We're gonna yeah, invite me, man. Yeah, and go to JJK's there, Instagram, man. man. If you take a look at the little adverts that he's got going, it's not now. It's so cold. Just the way that you've shot it. Just it's building so it up, man. Cold, it's because my, you know what, the thing for me, it's always, if, if anything I do, it's important to show the process. Yeah, because yeah. Because one, like, one thing I've have to, I've learned through just doing the things that I do is like the feedback that you get, Um, you know, the people that you're touching and how you're touching. <laughs> Sounds mad, but... <laughs> <laughs> How you're touching them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know, what they take from what you're doing, you'll be surprised because like, I can sit here and throw out promo videos and do yeah. stuff and then or I can show you the factory and how it's actually done. Yeah. Like I said, like for, for us and from where we come from, what we do, we don't get to see them processes a lot yeah, no, and fact. see where these things are done and how they're made. And do you know what I'm saying? And people are genuinely more interested in that kind of stuff. So I, I enjoy doing that anyway because it's just... As much as it's enlightening for someone, it's the same for me. Yeah. Because yeah. I work on the go as well. I learn on the go as well. Like, I just throw myself into these things. Sometimes I lose, sometimes I win. You know what I'm saying? But you it's don't like... Know you go. The second shot, yeah. So, the, not that not that vibe, but the other vibe. Wait, this one. Okay. Are you looking at the, the look of it now? Yeah. The vid's wait, cold, wait. brother. I'll show you the full version. This is just a snippet. Brother! Look that at one. that. that yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. That's my I was going to wear that today, Steph. Huh? Mm, maybe I'll do the runner. Chuck, you know what I love about this advert? Screen. Go on. I think it's so sick here when people make a product and they show you exactly who should be wearing it, where they should wear it, how they should wear it. Right, okay. It's really like, there's not, I don't think a lot of brands get that yeah. that part correct. And I just, when I saw the advert, I just felt like, yeah, I can wear this shoe. Like, I think this shoe's aimed at me. Yeah, you know, yeah. like some, because I love paying attention to detail. I like aesthetics. And then the shoes just wavy. I'm like, maybe I'm the core demographic, you know, I'm coming right, from. Right, right, right. I like when brands are able to identify the individual that they're trying to speak to without doing the corny thing of just getting the face. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, there yeah. is no face. It's the shoe. You've yeah. watched it in its entirety in the, in the vid. You just kind of know if it's for you or, it's, or if it's not. And if it's not for you, you're kind of interested. Like, do you know what? But how can it be for me? Do you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I, I proper fuck with it. Well, that's, that's, that's really the whole premise of the brand and the ethos, like... The word hyphen it means someone of someone that's of multi functions. You know what I'm saying? You work okay. at a different function. So like, everyone in there is a, is a hyphen at some point or yeah, is yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely pertains to me because that's my life. You know, the amount of times people are like, oh, Jay, what are you up to now? What are you up to now? See so you doing this? See so you doing that? And it's just like that's just how man work. And it's like, you know, one minute you know I'm a company owner here, I'm a creative director there, I'm a consultant mm. there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like cool, that's just what we do. That's what our days are like. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's normal now. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to do this podcast, you're going to go and do something over there, you're going to do something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's yeah, how we work now. It's, mm-hmm. not that, it's not that day anymore where, you know, parents, grandparents, they sat in one job. Right. And it was comfortable. Right. We do right. that and that's the thing. We're hyphenates now. We are hyphenates. Multi-hyphenates. Like we, you know, you've got your guy who plays semi-pro boy, he earns a nice little check every week. And then in the week, he does little modelling jobs. He's got a job as well. He might yeah. work on the construction. That's his life. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It, 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 he has to be in different, different version of himself every time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? So that's just the way we are, and that's that's the brand, isn't it? Lit. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? People like, used to put that shit to down. To celebrate you know? that, man. It's to celebrate. Yeah, they, that they, they did. People did used to put that. Put shit that shit down. When I told them, yeah, I do YouTube videos, I do this, I do that. Yeah, but what else? But what do you do? Like, yes. like I have to have <laughs> one defiant thing. Listen, we just come off a pandemic, bro. So like, if you didn't know then, if you weren't in it then, yeah. Now you need to know. You know what I mean? 
But Jay, you don't, you don't so bust it out. Do do? When you was 11 to 16, you done 11 subjects. You went to <laughs> school true. with a big ass bag, drama in the morning, <laughs> Ari at lunch, yeah. mass in the night, and now you're telling me what one thing do That's I do? Ari at lunch, you know? <laughs> I used to hate Ari from religious education. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari was so, shit, bro. <laughs> anyone that took that. Ari yeah, to later education to pass, so like, you just want to pass, you just want to get an A or a B. Yeah, you want to grade. Yeah, you want to grade. Wasn't Ari anymore? What's Where it is called? it? Like, when it gets to A levels, it's philosophy and ethics. Philosophy and ethics, that sounds better. Yeah, I like that. I can fuck with that. Religious education just they sounds like. What? Wait, is that. So what? Yeah, they changed Ari? Yeah. yeah. Talk to Nanny. Oh, yeah. so what? Ari is no longer Ari. That's an old school thing. Yeah, politically correct, I think. Yeah. Is what? Okay. Made it politically correct. Why? What, what's, what's wrong with religious studies? I don't studies? know. There was outrage. It's like, like um, Christmas in school. Oh, because you're not so covering this religious. I think that was it. Do, what? On the general sense, I think they still do religious studies. But when it gets to higher education, yeah. it becomes philosophy and ethics. Philosophy and ethics. Right. I like philosophy and ethics though. Learn I did a course. Yeah, I did a course on philosophy. Still. philosophy. I like. It. Yeah. yeah. He did yeah. philosophy and ethics. Go on, my yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Religious Ari. studies. Ari sounds yeah, dead, bro. Sounds dead. <laughs> that sounds dead. Man, it doesn't do not Ari. No, but the trainers. I'm sorry, man. They just yeah, they're cold. They're no, so up. cold. Honorable shout out to you on that, man. No, still, big up, big up, I'll put. We'll put the website on the feed. Yeah, please sign up. Come through. Two stars, eight four colorways. Have you got so your? Is it just an online thing for now? Yeah, you're well, doing yeah, I'll be going into retail though. Yeah, you're doing, yeah. yeah, yeah I can yeah, see yeah. on the faces doing it's already yeah, having come a meeting. On. Yeah, you know, I, I can see on the faces doing the meetings. Yeah, 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 yeah I hear that. Let's get a little. Shopping. Oh, they're done. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, this contract yeah. needs to come in and. Nah, we're good, man. We we'll be rolling out. Like, okay, see it there. Look, look. Yeah, we're good, man. Like, you know, we're not good because we ain't we ain't sold one yet. But well, like, of course, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we're putting it in place. One where, step at a time. Yeah, one step at a time. One step at a time, man. The they will sell, man. Look at the crep. The crep's cold. Yeah, Even if you know nothing about the crep. Into this, man. Look at the crep. If you don't know nothing about it, the crep is cold. Yeah, look, I need to know the comfort though. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good, but I need to know the comfort. Nah, no, you'll be good, man. Yeah, good. it's handmade in Portugal. Are you mad? Yeah, I saw man, the guy. It's all handmade. I saw the guy. This is high quality. Same height as you. I saw the guy. <laughs> <laughs> not to name, but like you know, a lot of the brands in there, like there's, there's oh, know, there's brands in there. Brands is it that come out of the same factory? Oh, okay, world, okay, so okay. Quality that are known for their stuff. So and the price is. Yeah, it's good price, man. Good price, yeah. <laughs> ah, say that. Price? Affordable luxury. Affordable luxury. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, that's I my thing. Want to kill my people. You see, this is another thing that I get to support the man them on, and I like that. That's me. That's what I'm on. Yeah. It's obviously always got to be good. Well, this yeah. is it, and that, and that's the thing. I don't like to rely on that, like you know, especially when we talk about oh, with us, we got to support, support. Nah, I need. Nah, I need. You it see to that? Be good. You see that? I'm not good. on that, you know. I'm, I'm not on. I'm it. on supporting, but let's no. We have to, you know, put be more good. detail. Focus be good. on it the detail. Be and don't make it hard product. for me. Don't, don't make, make it hard for me. One girl told me the other day, "Come support your sister, black owner." I said, "Big man, miss it." I said, "This could have been everything owned." I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Why do I have to support it just because you're black and I'm black? No, no, no. Why can't it be good? No, nah, nah, it has to. This is good. No, you have to, you have to. I think it's patronising as well sometimes, man. When you say black, oh yeah, like it's just it. like oh, I'm just I'm just supporting it just because like I think it's That's true. good to do that, but it's like now it's a bit patronising. I'm not. Yeah. Like, I want to be able to just come bring anyone there and say this is good. And it's black owned, by the way. No facts. But the first point of it is that I it's don't want good. someone to just buy it because it's oh, black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a black like brother. It. Let me just buy it. I want you to like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, like he's it. black. Let me buy it. Do you know what that reminds me of? When them Egypt parents take their child to pop idol or something, like, yeah, sing, 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 sing. It's just, you can't sing, dog. Just stay at home and do something else. Mm-hmm. So when you're doing this whole, yeah, buy this because it's black owned and it's not good, it's like, I'm leading my brother astray. Yeah. The thing is, that. though, the reason why it's easy for me to, to, to live this way is because. Now there is so much good stuff that yeah. is owned by yeah. black people. No, sure. Do you understand what for I'm sure, saying? Sure. The right so, is there, in it? Sure. Right, exactly. These men there from when Belgium. I get my, and that. When, 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 when am I getting my pair though? <laughs> yeah, next right. Week. <laughs> next week. Yeah, next week. As I said, they're on the truck now. Right, they're man. on the truck now. Yeah, I want to buy one though. I can't lie. Oh, of so course, that's my thing. Buy, buy, that's lie. my thing. Buy my yeah, thing. Pay money now. Yeah, man. Now yeah. I'm gonna borrow the money of you and then pay. Right, money. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, could you borrow me and then you end up buying it back, buying it from them? Come on, no, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. The socks, by the way, oh. cold po. Honorable shout out to you for the socks, though. Yeah, man. Oh, did you get them from Dam? Huh? Did you get them from Dam? I didn't, you know. Where did I get these one from? Carnaby Street. Oh, strong. Oh, you Close. can see one's older than the other, so one's like long and one's not. But I saw it go. One's older than the other. Yeah, I got. I bought one pair, right, and then strong. like 
six months later, I bought another pair. Right. But then so I've lost one, one of them. Yeah, yeah, I've lost one from Left each. one at one girl's yard. Now you're starting <laughs> propaganda. We have to stop this point propaganda that I'm a cheater and I'm not- What? Trust- you, but stop what? It. <laughs> Put it on the screen. <laughs> Put it on the screen. This one here stinks. God. Stinks. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a cheater. <laughs> 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 Put it on the screen. Celebrate. Oh, yeah, I always wonder how that worked out for no. you, man. Huh? It worked out bad, you know. What's that? I guess that statement, I was thinking that's a match. Do you know what it is? You just acted on impulse, innit? And I bet I, I bet there was an argument. <laughs> no, there wasn't. Do you know what it was? I was so disinterested in everything that was happening. No disrespect to anyone. I was just like, I'm not interested in today. So whatever you ask me, I'm just gonna go left. Oh, I've had that. Like, I just haven't got the time to have is a constructive win- is conversation. Is your window to take it back now? No. no. I don't like <laughs> no, I take it back, no. <laughs> hey, Johnny, he doesn't, he doesn't even want to, he can't even do it. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm taking it back. Man's a good guy, bro. An no, no one ever disputed man. that. Sorry, I don't cheat. Smiling like one criminal, bro. Uh, <laughs> hey! And it's just worse. Yeah, but, this is worse, bro. Hey, but Guy yeah, Fawkes Night. But buy anyway. the shoes, though. Uh, yeah, Guy Fawkes Night. Thank man. you. Guy Fawkes <laughs> Night, man. Another yeah. project where I display how good right. it is to be honest and not cheat. Chucky, first of all, thank you so much for coming on the project, though, because it sounded a lot better than I thought it was going to sound, to be honest. I want to do it again as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I loved yeah, it. Well, I enjoyed I, it. I liked it. Oh, yeah, serious. I enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Thank I enjoyed you, man. it. And it made sense for you to be doing that as well. I yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Especially now with what you've got going on with these dances, and I'm just like, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, now nah, it just it makes sense. Are you seeing the dancers and that? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Donald yeah, Jones and it. Come, on, man. we'll get to that. It's mad though. We need to said... talk, actually, Carl. We need to talk. Well, yeah. I told you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We we'll, need to we'll talk, man. It's funny because we spoke about you hosting the tape here. I came up with the idea here. Okay. And do you remember it, me? And I was like, I need to get Chucky to host it. But then it was like, I didn't realize how difficult it is to make a project that you want to aim at females when you're me. No right. Okay. <laughs> like it's I'm so <laughs> right. like I'm I'm in football. I'm in, I'm not yeah. even that thinking pattern. So then like it just took so long to make it. But then when we finally made it, I'm really happy. It came out on Monday. TJ went mad with production. Wonderful shout out to TJ. As well, um, so. Pep went mad on production on the right. final track, charging to the game. Well. And um, like obviously Zachi went on the first song. Yeah, he went crazy. Shout out Rocket on the hook, um, on the verse. Air on the hook. Let's talk Pep about scripts though. Huh? Let's talk about Scribs though. Scribs' verse uh, on Porn Star uh, is mad. Yeah, but that you just gets me mad because he'll do that. My man's hay fever, he's gone. I ain't seen him for a while now. Scribs lost yeah, Scribs, <laughs> Scribs lost his mind. He lost his brother. I feel like because I, I teed him up in it, but you know <laughs> Jordan, give me some credit, I gotta do something. Nah, you did well, bro. You executive produced it, brother. Oh, it's so difficult. Jordy said one thing that I don't like though. I need to change it. What? That is becoming too much like me. I, I always envisioned Vibba to be loads of different interpretations and personalities. But with this project, it was so much me. That's the only thing I wish it wasn't. So Do you know much what? Me. To be fair, I did think that as well, but I didn't yeah. see that as a problem. Okay, fair enough. I have just saw it. Do you know what? Okay, I, I just made an assumption. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know what? At one point, you may do this and then maybe... Three months, four months down the line, someone else within Vibba would do that under Vibba though. Well, basically on the next So it's not just you, it could just be someone else. The reverse of this project we're gonna do, I'm on one song. Okay. So that's nice. But yeah, unfortunately, no, nah, that's just not, the pattern is just down to, cause who's on it? We are who's down, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And but back in the day, it was me and Jordy that's on it. But Jordy's done so well now, Jordy's got, this whole world of Geordie, which is so big and so important. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the whole schedule now. Yeah, he's the whole time for that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> <Right>. Brother! <laughs> now, your trainers uh, are harder to come say now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, nah, man, I just wish everyone else in the groups kind of had that energy that Geordie has so they could be in that same similar situation, but they're not. So then it's like, so then why are we not doing this? So sometimes I have that same battle of. You know, it is, it's human nature thing, though as well. Like, remember, I've told you this, it's like yeah. with group situations. It, it's, it just has to happen organically, and if that's mm. how it's come out today, that's how it's come out. That's how Vibble Work has come out today. Fair enough. And it, it, you ain't you gotta be careful not to make things an issue, like because people have schedules, people mm. have life as well that they're yeah, dealing yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's just, yeah. Everybody's not gonna be on the same page, but what needs to be on 
be maintained is that Viba is moving. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. Regardless. 100. So if you're here, if you're here or not, it's all right. Cool. Because the train's still running. You could just you could hop on any time. That's yeah. It, that, for that, exactly. You know that, that should be yeah. the benefit you know of what? actually being yeah, in the crew. You know. Cold. That should be the benefit. That should be the superpower. The superpower yeah. is that like you know what for a month. Also, we're gonna lock in whoever's on it is on it, but it's, it's all right if you're not there. It's fine because you got things going on. Mm. When we lock in again, then whoever's there is there. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's just the groups, and that's what will always bring down a group because you're gonna just bring animosity to that situation. It's just it's life, isn't it? Yeah, I hear you. yeah. Some people as well, like age all the time. It's exactly. But and, I think... and some people might not be feeling inspired enough or like whatever. But then when they hear that now that they wasn't a part of like that, they might shit. All right, cool got my mojo now for the next when's the next one do you know what I mean yeah. I remember hearing Getz talking about um, like going to Kano for a verse or something yeah but like just at that point he'd not that long come out of the project he'd just flipping done all of that yeah he's like his mind is just somewhere different mm. right now and it's like it would be even unfair for me to even come back to try and even come back just for the sake of doing it like mm. When the dots connect, that it will connect. But either way, the love is just still the same. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and whenever yeah. the dots do connect, you know what it is. That's it. But sometimes some people's minds are just not there, but the superpower is the love, isn't it? I think without giving too much information, my biggest problem is, I, I, I love my brethren a lot, you know, a mm. lot. And if I feel they're not doing the things that I mm. believe from watching them, not just mm. a selfish thing. Like I've watched you, I've seen what motivates you, I've seen what ticks you, I've seen what makes you feel inspired and motivated. You're not doing any of that. And then I give you, a not, I'm like, look, maybe we should do something like this and just to, and you don't want to do that. So when people just don't want to do stuff and they're my friends, I am the worst person to be around because I will hate you because I'll be like, you're so talented. You mm. want to just sit down and do nothing? But I like that. You have mm. to do something, brother. Mm. Yeah, I get it, it's been a bad day, but so what? Mm. Go to bed, start again tomorrow, but let's do some stuff. Do you mm. know where I'm coming from? So <laughs> that's all it is. I just love my bridging doing work being motivated because then when you see situations like Jordy for example brother when I see Jordy hosting Shivas Regal projects or doing freestyles on Grime Daily or doing the rated awards or dropping a project like KMT or dropping a project he dropped the other day of his cousin cause man is inspired beyond belief mm. do you know where I'm coming from and it just I just want loads of my friends to just be maybe it's too much for me to ask but I like how my friends are doing that because I'm like, <coughs> this is good. This is how we're meant to be progressing. Yeah, forward. working so at a good frequency. Not, yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So when that, you're not that's, doing that's that, that's how you like, communicate it, though. Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? Just like how you said that there. Yeah. That's sometimes just how it's got to be communicated because mm. where you're saying, you get what I'm saying? Where, yeah. But I'm, I'm not saying you, in this situation, but every crew goes through these things. Every yeah, 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 right. And it, and it happens that way, like where that's how you're feeling, really. It's all from love. Yeah, but your love, presentation love ain't doesn't come across as love. It comes across as jarring or whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? Because me, especially me. But whoever, whoever's <laughs> like, whoever is in that position where they're inspired at that moment or, you know, they're driving it, yeah. they're going to feel that way. It's just yeah. understanding the art of presenting it in a way, right. a better way that 100. keeps everyone still motivated and just know that, yeah, it's still dead when it's ready. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Hey, and talk, go on. Oh, sorry, go on. Okay. As everyone's still working. I just think, do you know what it is? There's an intensity that you can work at, I believe, mm. which takes you to the next spot. And like everyone always wants to get to the next checkpoint. I've got a checkpoint I want to achieve. And I know that I need to intensify the work, um, the, the work rate I'm working at right now in order to get there at a quicker rate so I can get to the next checkpoint. Some people don't even know their checkpoints. So because they don't even know that, they don't intensify any work they're doing. They're just very casual about it. And I'm like, even if the checkpoint is unrealistic, just create something to work towards. Mm. Just want something, a goal. Once you get there, go, all right, cool, what's the next goal? And the first goal might be a month. Second goal might be two months. Fam, once you realise that, wait a minute, I can do more, your next goal is a year away from now. No, oh, facts. Yeah. Do you know what as well, yeah? Sometimes as well, depending on who you're talking to in regards to, like, inspiring them to get to that place, sometimes determines, like, how you deliver the message to them. Because, you know, like, yeah. see, for me, yeah, if I'm working at a frequency that is not really at my highest and I'm, for whatever reason it may be, yeah, sometimes all I actually need from a person to say, yeah, is literally, fam, you know, I believe in you, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, like, yeah. don't like, I, I don't know what's going on in that. I'm just letting you know I believe in you, bro. Like, you pattern no, up facts. a bit, you'll be all right. Fam, you see that? 
Big man, I'll be up at four in the morning. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Mm. Just that alone. Because it's like, mm. it's a little reminder of that. No, hold on, wait. I know that I'm cold. I know that there's you something to do. You don't want to let people do. down. I hate yeah, Because now exactly. you feel like, oh shit, you know, because you know, if it's easy to feel like, if if you feel like you're bugging someone or, some, or you're jarring someone, that's just met with more resistance, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But if, if you're positioned it in a way where, like you said, like, I believe in you, you know, that's just, that's just like a, um, you're communicating like, yo, pull up your socks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, around, yeah, yeah. Fact, yeah. Remember like, who you, you are, innit? Come on, remember, remember like, who you are. That's remember just remember a nice way of saying it, but yeah. you receive it better and you're going to take it better right. and it's going to inspire you to do better things, innit? It's, things, it's just I mean? then after a period of time when you see that there's no effect on that, then you might come back and deliver it differently, which is one thing that I've done. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I had to do that with someone like, uh, a girl in particular is like, she, there's certain things that she's telling me that she wants to do or whatever. And I'll, I will do that. I'll be like, listen, yeah, like you could do it though. Like, yeah. trust me, like all you got to do is thing, pattern up, whatever. Yeah. And then all like six, seven months later, all I'm hearing about is man on the phone. Ah, oh, but this one did this <laughs> and this one that. And I'm saying, then I, you know what? Now it's like, I'm going to tell you my, I'm just letting you know, my friendships don't work on this. You get what I'm saying? There's only so much that you can ring me and tell me about this man and that and yeah, this yeah, and whatever. Yeah. Like, what what are you doing now? Because I don't want you to come back to me now a year later and you're all mad at this, that, because this didn't happen and this has happened for this person or whatever. No, you're spending a lot of time mm -hmm. on this man thing right now mm -hmm. and nothing on that. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and now I have yeah. to deliver it yeah. this way because... Yeah. It's like you didn't get it the last time. Mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, that didn't, that didn't get you up out of bed and make you pattern up. <laughs> this, so this time I'm gonna have to say it this way. And then after that, <laughs> big man, I'm, I'm, done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. Chucky, let's be honest. I when can't I, even answer the phone again after that. Now, when I was younger, we're doing youth work. I can always deliver messages a little bit sweeter because the responsibilities you have mean that you'll have enough time to take in this message. Mm -hmm. You see, the more responsibilities you got. Because if I know you have to look after picnic and rent, and all, I ain't got time to say to you, don't worry. Big man, get up out of your fucking bed and let's get it. Yeah, because see. if I start warming you up and being nice, you see when you're in another situation which requires you to, no one's going to be warming you up, bro. The harsh realities of I need to pay rent. There's no one to go, don't worry, you'll be all right. It's big man, you can't live here no more. So do you know what? Yeah. I'll be such a cunt to you and I'm your friend. You'll realise that because... Outside is even a lot worse. So if you can deal with it here, right. you're fine out there. You see, but again, see what the best thing for me to do and how you deal with that is not to even get to all of that. Mm -hmm. It's to just ignore you. Like the, the best oh. thing for people to need to, to, to get yeah. to understand is when they're missing something. That's when you understand, oh shit, yeah, I should have done something. Yeah, 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 so when you just, you, you don't even have to get to all that. And that's the, and that's the best way. Because I've told you once, I've told you twice. Yeah. Then you disappear. It's like oh, I ain't spoke to man in a little while, like whatever. And then you just see it happening, mm. and now you're on the outside. Because the thing is, people want to attach to, ah, oh, but we had an argument the last time we spoke about that, or when you got onto me, it was a bit harsh. I didn't like the way you spoke to me. People want that because They'll they always need that. a crutch. Yeah, mm. do you yeah. know what I'm saying? When you don't give them nothing, just the works that you're telling them to do. Mm. Trust me, that's the hardest pill to swallow. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're just seeing I mean, it happening. Like oh, oh, I to then they're gonna feel awkward. And they don't want to feel awkward. So what they're going to do <coughs> is pull up their socks and right. get right in and mm. graft like what they were supposed to have done in the first place. Trust me. Hey. Like they said, the best time to plant a tree was 25 years ago. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you have to... <laughs> the best <laughs> time to plant a tree was That's why you, know you got I mean? them shoes. So right, when you're just missing on. it, you're like, fuck. Yeah, like, it's true. It's long, isn't it? And I it's all on that. you. There's nothing you can lean on to be it's like, but you know you. what my man did was a bit mad weird that time. And don't give him none of that. Don't give but no Jay, one none do you know it's so hard for me to do that? Because I will just see someone doing something and I'm like, Cuss. It's too emotional. You got, you're dealing with emotions. It's all of you, man. Yeah, you're dealing with Let's emotions. Go. You got Bro, to not Paul, deal with emotions. Me and Paul argue. And you can come across yeah. cold or whatever, <laughs> but you see what? When well, Once you've got around all that, oh, you know, he's a bit cold. Like, once they've got around that in the head, they realise, because you're always going to realise. Yeah. Shit, but you know what, man? Just that like, I should have just done what I needed to do. Right, it's and there's no to one do. to blame mm. but yourself. So you're gonna do it, and that's hopefully gonna better you. Trust me, like all the, all yeah. the, all that is long, blood. You just, you just bounce, bro. You just disappear. Facts. What was you saying? What was you saying? Now nah, me and Paul argue on the phone because, because, because he wants to always shake people, innit? Like, oh, shake, wake up, wake up. Da, 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 da. But I always say, look, man, just run your race, because one day they're gonna look up and see a gap. 
Mm. And bro, that gap is gonna just frighten them. Yeah. But you, you missed out. The gap's your fault. We could, you could have been running with me. Yeah, we could have been neck and real. neck. Mm. But it's like now, now look at this gap. You can't. You either can't catch up or you need to catch up. But this is this is your fault. This gap. Mm. You get me. Mm. Just mm. run. Just think, run your thing, man. The killer mm. is although I agree, I think every approach can work depending on the circumstances. Like I think this approach probably works more times out of ten. But I think my approach, I've seen it work sometimes. Mm. I've seen myself go to someone and go, big man, I don't give a fuck about your girlfriend. Give a shit what your mum's saying. <laughs> give a fuck about your daddy issues. This is happening today, bro. Mm-hmm. And if you do that, you're gonna realize that that means nothing. So I want you to do that. Just do that for me. And off the back of it, if I'm wrong, you'll never hear from me again. And nine times out of ten, they do it. They go, "Point, you're right." I'm like, I fucking told you. So now that's all I need to do. I need to remind you no more because we have an example mm-hmm. of you doing what is right for you, and you feel it. Mm. You feel this is the right thing to do. Now you have that example. All I'm ever gonna do is say. Remember last time I told you to do something and you done it and look how, how well it was. Like, what do we care about anything else for? Mm. And I don't have to get angry and intense, but Jordy's right. Sometimes I'm like, Jordy, I need to get onto them. Do you know what makes I you unique? This. Do you know what makes you unique? What makes you unique is that you're like high in logic and high in emotion at the same time. <laughs> usually, usually like someone's either high in logic and not the emotion mm. is not there or they're just really emotional, but there's no logic. Mm-hmm. You're high in both. So you give the logic in a very high emotional, in emotional way. way, which that's makes rubbish. you unique. Mm. That's rubbish, man. That's very low in sympathy. Absolutely. Me? Nah, don't do nah, that. Th- propaganda. This is what I mean about no, the propaganda. No, nah, but I think yeah. like your sympathy is more like you kinda private. have to be though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you kind of have to be yeah, because, yeah. like I said, I, I'm the low in sympathy without all the high. With all the high key stuff, yeah. I just, you know what I mean. I'll Jay just, just doesn't care, bro. Sometimes when Jay just does not. Nah, because we can talk about it, and, and you, know, you bring it up, you raise the point, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna do yeah. all that. You tough, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You're tough, right? <laughs> yeah, like we just gotta oh. get on with it because if if man ain't enough of an example, then I don't know what can do. What else is? What else do you need? Do you Life is the results business. I can't lie. You gotta win these matches, bro. The, oh, we shit. didn't talk about the takeoff thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, th- is there actually any um, clarifications on what actually happened with that? Was that just like a? Jordy has some info. Nah, it's all up in the air, man. But the story, the story is, they were with like the the princes, J Prince's peoples, them. Yeah. Because that's their city. They're taking them around, and an argument happened between Quavo and I guess Prince's camp or J Prince himself. J Prince Junior, the son, mm. not the dad. Can't argue with the dad. Anyway, feel that fact. Yeah, it turned, it, I don't know. It turned into a scuffle, turned into shootings, and then I, 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 apparently my man caught a stray. Oh, so they didn't even go to lick him down. They was going to lick someone else. There's bear stories though. Like there's another one I've heard. I don't yeah. want to some man to you know. Yeah, yeah, stories, yeah, of course. But yeah, like, there was another one where it's not stray as well. Is it? Yes. Yeah, but yeah, the but, j- yeah, it's getting techies. Definitely. Yeah, getting the princes like the princes. I went down a little up. YouTube. <laughs> Rabbit hole uh, yeah, 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 I wasn't yeah. even meant to. I was trying to watch something else. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens to me all the fucking yeah. time. Do you know what I didn't like about it, though? I had to go and do some show with ZZ and Yinka. Shout them out the other day. Right. Uh, is it unapologetic? Oh, you did that? Yeah, man. So, I was no drunk, way. man. Yeah, man. You're an Egypt. <laughs> You're an Egypt. So imagine now, yeah, they brought up that, but they brought up that to tie in with the drill thing. What do oh, you, oh yeah, yeah and yeah. I was just well, like yeah. they have nothing in common like they're not even re- like that's in America like they've got gun laws that are crazy over there like what the hell's that got to do with drill and I was just like Ross man that's yeah. it's, it's proper- interesting that you say that still because I know where some of that came from and that was I don't know if this might have been in your house or whatever but um, let me just play this because I saw you post this as well when did that post this of seeing the uh, rapper from Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I had a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things, um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers, and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth.
truth is this. A bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex. Period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours, and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people. You're family guys. You're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his I'll own turn it off, it man. Down. I can't hear make... this bullshit for too long. This is the reason why I get emotional, man. This Don, <clears throat> this Caucasian Don has decided to speak on behalf of all of the black people in America and especially the rappers. And I mean this in the nicest way. What a fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. I can understand the intention. I can understand what he's trying to do. But sometimes, like, you're just not the person suited for that job. And this is a prime example, young man. For you to say a culture is being pushed on. My brother, this is how it works in my mind anyway. I could be totally wrong. Something happens in life. People monopolize of it, build an industry about it. And that's what is the popular thing. But it has to happen in life first. So when he talks about, oh, the culture of... I know a lot of you lot and River. First of all, people fucking grow up. So when these rappers come on the scene, they're 18, 19 years old and they probably are shooting and killing people. And by the time they're 27, 28 and they've got families and they've got other responsibilities, that's just not the lifestyle anymore. He's not meeting them when they're in the hood. He's meeting them when they're at the fucking label. Of course, they're not going to be doing that stuff no more. So what the hell are you even speaking about? There is more people that are poor. So there is more poverty. So there is more individuals going through discrepancies than there are people that are in record labels living handsomely. So when he goes, I set you a task to... Cuz, you see when a man gets to a record label and is doing handsomely, you reckon the streets are really listening to them? They've already found the next rapper that they all love. So I just think that information being given out and because he's in a office, it mm. looks right, but in actual reality life, he should have just fucking put the phone down after five seconds, bruv. Mm. Biggest amount of bollocks yeah, I've seen yeah. and it was in my howlers. And I was just it, like, when I saw it, I just... It was, I think, the it, bare man. nuances missing in it, which bare is the nuance. life as the life aspect. But the the one life as, aspect of it is, yo, there's a thing in America called a right to bear arms, <laughs> which yeah. means that man have straps, which also means that you can legally have straps, but you can also illegally give a man a strap with your illegal strap if need be. There's bare know. elements to this thing in it. You look at like the fact that you have uh, an economy of, and a demographic of people that are incredibly poor and come from a certain type of area and whatnot, yeah? Yeah. That are starving, in fact. Mm. And then you put straps in there, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen? It's more than just the music. I mean, there's so many layers to it. And for, listen, to be honest, I think my man just wanted to make a piece of content, really, because do you know what I like that one that's the nah, truth that's really all it is because we're going to sit here and he wanted and this is what he wants for it to just be spoken yeah, hey. I don't give nothing of them, them things any kind of mind because like you said there's bare nuances to it there's so many layers to even before it even gets to that point you know just social wise do you get what I mean and, and just how people are living like you're saying like, so whatever man this is what I would advise whatever. Caucasian people white people I love you all man stop speaking on behalf of black people let them do it we'll do it we'll speak on behalf of ourselves and we'll tell you the rubbish shit that you've done and you speak on behalf of yourselves. But you speaking on behalf of a culture of individuals that you haven't even spent five minutes with, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It genuinely makes no sense to me. And then when people listen to it, because when I did read, re I think I retweeted that and said nonsense, whatever. When I see all these little middle-class white kids responding, I'm just like, cuz your idea of a bad day is your mom telling you you can't play GTA. Like, what the fuck? Like, like you don't, like, why are you forcing yourself to understand you don't have to there's nothing wrong with saying i don't get it and leaving someone else to find out like don't put yourself under the pressure to understand why these discrepancies are happening mm -hmm. you don't have to do that there are discrepancies happening within your culture that you should sort out like forcing people to wear poppies and all of that type of stuff go and sort all that shit out don't worry about us man we got our own problems to worry about oh, but yeah, got them don't the don't be just leave Person, just leave. Just, just go away. <laughs>
I'm flipping hell, fam. <laughs> their history is so shit, man. I just think they're trying to make a better present. So in a hundred years time, their history looks a little bit better. But essentially, cause mm. your history. Yeah, shit, I just man. think you can't discuss those things without discussing the nuances. You can't do that. It's not as simple as just right. These managers making rap music and That's why fucking just managers getting licked down or whatever yeah. else. Like you can't just it's you a can't. Massive conversation to be having. It's a it's a there's a so many. Yeah. Huh? It's not a fly by moment on YouTube. It's it's just not that. I challenge you rappers. Yeah. To just, ooh, <laughs> shit. What are you trying to just to do? He challenges the rappers to not speak about the situations that are happening in their area. Ignore it and just talk about positive things. Okay. What <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the oh, fuck are we? <laughs> Don't talk about your bridge and I got shot. So let's sing a song like, I'm like a bird. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, this is what's happening, isn't it? If you don't want people to speak about that, let's try and prevent that from happening so we can talk about something else. That's so funny, man. He thought, he thought he would change rap. Brother. <laughs> he thought he, he was in his house. I got it. I got it. So funny. Oh, it's deep, man. I mean, I used to work at record labels. I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good guys. You're meeting them at 31, you prick. Yeah, of course. And rich, some of them. And rich, yeah, they ain't got to be angry no more. Yeah, of course, exactly. If you met Chief Keef when I first saw Love Sosa, I doubt that's the Chief Keef you meet today. Yeah, exactly. He's got a ute and all of these types of, or utes, probably, now. Nah. Nigga was on house arrest, shot a video at his grandma's house because he couldn't leave. Where is Chief Keef these days? Chilling out, LA, playing computer he's games. Business in LA, man. Is it, yeah? yeah? Is he up? Uh, what? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. He's up, bro. Is it? Yeah. He's That's one of the founders sick. of this. He's thing, in production now. Yeah, but still, the founders are never usually up. That's true. Yeah, uh, the founders are never up. He's, 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 yeah, he's, he's, in, he's into producing songs now. Oh, is it? Yeah. But he's into gaming as well. He does bear gaming. <clears throat> oh so. shit! Did you see the fucking? I don't know who this Don was, by the way. I only just thought about this now. But like, people have been calling the SWAT team on gamers and that. Have you seen that? Wait, they're fuckery. Why? Why? Fam. Huh? Why? Just randomly. This one you is doing a gaming thing, yeah? (laughs) He's just playing games, bro, (laughs) online. And someone online is just obviously, they know he's addressing that. And they must have just rang the thing and said, (laughs) Oh, he's got a guard in the house! Oh my God. Bro, he's like playing the game now and he's like, you know, I think he can hear a helicopter and man all climbing over his thing and that. And he's saying, in the, he's saying like on the camera, like, why do you lot keep doing this to man? Like, why are you doing that? That's it? a thing, it's a new Why are you doing that? Man, no, then bro, he has to nah, get on his they're knees. Up, his brethren's now all come from the other room. They're all yeah, sitting there, got their hands there like this. He's fucking. It's fucking. I would do that. You would do that? Oh, that is funny. Fuck. I can't lie. That, that is God. hilarious. That is funny, bro. If I saw that, my work's happening in front of me while I'm doing it. <laughs> cracking up. Man, all yeah. I'm oh, I remember being on live and I, think I was on live and the bear you just started typing, Jordy, there's a spider behind you. What? So now I do that. I just give it a one look back. And they're they're, they're killing me now. I'm just going to slam my MacBook, man. <laughs> What's yours? Do you know why that's what team one sick? I remember when we were younger, we were outside the shop park in Freddy Lane Estate, and there's an old woman that walked past here, and I think she said something to one of the boys, something raised something rude or something like that. Right. So the boys just giving her a slack, and she goes, "Ah, oh, make you lot see." She phoned the police and told them that we had like guns and all of this and drugs. What? If you saw the amount of feds that came, I can't lie. Afterwards, I said, "Man, them, I slightly rate her." She told us yeah, what, what, what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, I'm, gonna do. Yeah, I I'm so. seeing man's face I... lick concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing yeah, man yeah, right. blood drapes, drapes up. <laughs> man, I'm like what? I'm calling my lawyers these times. Man, and he got five pounds to buy a juice to talk about lawyer, lawyer, your bucks. Because you know what it is. That's the one call that they have to take seriously. They have to, bro. Yeah, have if you say, "Oh my god, I'm getting beaten up," they'll be like, "Oh, okay, sir." You know, who else is there? What's going on? Whatever. If you say, oh my God, he's got a thing. Yeah. They have to take that one seriously. Yeah, and then that's like, that that's not even regular police that's coming. That's oh, like, gun mad. Police. that's gun, gun police. police and that. You know one of the gun police mean? officers, it was mad because them times I was doing youth work. So I was like, oh yeah, but what did she say that we were wearing? Oh, she said that you're all in black tracksuits. I think when I had a baby blue jeans on with a white tee, a Winnie the Pooh bag, I was like, this doesn't oh, fit my, my description. Oh my God, I remember you talking about this. doesn't this. fit my description. <laughs> you could have got changed. Oh yeah, a lot happened Into to this? you. Big man. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot happened to you when you had that bag, <laughs> you know? clothes. <laughs> a lot happened to you when you had that bag on, you know? I Winnie remember you messaged that a lot, oh. a few times. The Winnie the Pooh bag. Yeah, a lot was getting, you got punched. Well, I think what happened? At uni or whatever, you got rushed by a man then. Oh, I'm Winnie the Pooh bag, my ticker bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> You're a ticker bag at uni, yeah? Yeah, man. Okay, then. You should have got punched up. That was for that one. Oh. <laughs> 
a tiger bag. It's big, the bag was so big you could fit everything in there. And I spoke to someone's sisters. I don't give a shit. What I want. Have and you I got saw... howlers, bro? Yeah, let me get them at the phone. I got beat up, man. I told you though. Oh shit, is there Wi Fi? Yeah. I need to update the parking. Yeah, I got it. Oh, man, getting beat up is not the vibes, bro. I told you that. <laughs> it's true it still. It's not the vibes. Hold but on. you know what? Do you know it's what? It's proper nut, you know, bro. Do you know what, though? I think getting rushed. Is probably better than getting beaten up. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because <laughs> beating up is just you and you know them. You know a, like a few men caught you, and it's like, like there's nothing you could have done. Now, no true. matter how tough you are. But you see, when a man punches <laughs> you, <laughs> I remember it. Yeah, he's like, I remember that. Uh, Russian is a blur especially, anyway. when, especially when they, if they catch you with the, um, when they get the hoodie and they wrap it over oh. your head. Bro. And it's not you're just trying to get out. I was of trying to tell about it the other day. You're, you're swimming. <laughs> My cousin yeah. used to do that. Is it? Like, That's what a you tactic. Say? What'd you say? We'll say no more. He'll walk past you, yeah. Hold we'll up. Hold up. Yeah, bang, yeah, bang. I used to look at him it. like, this guy needs Jesus, bro. Do you know what? I saw a man, I saw a brother get beaten up, yeah. But as the my, my mom was beating him up, he was taking his clothes off. He was taking his clothes off of him. <laughs> just to emasculate him even more. So it was like, as I'm punching you up, I'm yeah. like. The, the, dude who, the dude who got beaten up ended up topless and in his boxer shorts. <laughs> it's like, now, you know what? I've got... Do you know what's worse? Certain type of men are coming back with his shit. You know what's worse? Like, getting dressed. What, getting dressed like after you got beaten up? Your clothes up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, picking your clothes up. I oh, see my toes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I'll be honest with you. I walked into the flipping wall the other day, my glasses fell on the floor. I didn't oh, want to pick man. them up. It's a stinker. It's a stinker. <laughs> it's a stinker. Not as much of a stinker on what happened on the last podcast, <laughs> and I'm so happy I wasn't here. <laughs> this young man who made content during COVID to bring in black people, we then found out later on he wants to kick them in the face and say nigger. Now, when I saw Chucky sitting next to this man, I thought, this feels a bit uncomfortable. Is this a howler? No, the howler oh, is God, that he pretty... said he worked with Chucky. That what? stinks! <laughs> I don't care what anyone says! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I knew it. I knew it. What if Chucky... That Chucky... stinks. Where? I was what watching to... the podcast that like, mm, Chucky, no problem, man. He's here. Let's no problem. No, what's with Chucky Wade? I remember, like, Chucky, HMV? I worked with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, man, clear that up. Clear HM... that up. I'll let you clear it up. I'm nah, just saying, clear, no, the, clear, the howler is in... Anyone, I'm not getting that mixed up. <laughs> yeah? We're not doing that. Listen. Propaganda. That, that pop... We never work That together. pod will work. That will get more views than this one. Big man, he said you work together. For me, the Never seen him in my life. I know this. <laughs> A man tried to drag you down with him. So I know it might you might be cool with him, but where I stand... No, I'm not cool with the brother. You're still a about? wanker. You can <laughs> sit on this sofa for 20 more I never, times. I don't remember working with him. I never brother, with where him. did he say Me and Alhan watched it and we kept laughing and wheeling it again. No. I worked with you. I was bossing yeah. up. It, what, wait, bossing let's up. Let's be clear. Oh. Was he saying that he used to DJ? No, he was saying he worked at so while he was Oh, like, he worked at Nike. While you were while I was you DJ, didn't work oh, together, man. You were just in the same building one Brother, time. Brother, he tried <laughs> yeah, to drag true. man down with him. You didn't work together, man. Yeah, subcontract. yeah, man. The man has been shown he's a racist and then he goes, but I worked with Chucky. Do you know what it was? Nah, you man, was? that Jay, stinks, Jay, man. Jay, where, that stinks. where it was mad, yeah, mm. is that like, we're having a conversation about race play mm. and that, yeah, and kinks. <laughs> and then straight away, he then says, yeah, me and you, like, I remember we worked together. I said, I beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah, clean that up. Oh, Chucky Wait. wasn't on it. Oh, hey, Chucky, you stuck Wait, it on him, don't me in this. You stuck yeah. it on him a lot, you know? Yeah, well, I, I just, You stuck I, it on I, him a I, lot. Oh, that's <laughs> very telling of my man, though. You see what I'm saying? He's yes. very strategic. Like, he's like, he's trying to, like, build something now around... This, this thing he's got to come and fess up No, to. do you know what it was, But Jay? he wants I think, to bring I you think, in summer. Anyhow, bro, yeah. you said he's I just think, in the brother. building, man. That's ridiculous. He was saying, I th- it's I th- incredible to see your rise and, and what you're doing. Do you know, forget, forget. You see all the, brother, Yo. you know was? that I, man, don't bring him back here, Chuck. You know he's done now. No, 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 man. I think that was like, the people that actually watched it, yeah, mm. their critique as well on him was that like, the disingenuine mm. aspect yeah. of it. 
and also that aspect of like almost bringing me into that mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. saying those type of things. Like we he tried to drag you down, Chucky. <laughs> you giving him the chance to sit here and make up, and he tried to drag you down. I said, "You're lucky I weren't there." I had to talk about him, but. <laughs> Fuck that guy, man. <laughs> tramp, bro. Fucking tramp, bro. I hate people like that. Listen, my brother. Trust me. If I was here, if I was here, you would have gone home five. You would have got sent off five minutes into the game. So, so called Champions League final. I have one more. Go I'm on. not going to say anything. I'm just going to say what I've read and I'm going to remain quiet. If you want, choose to react, it's entirely up to you. That sounds bad. I know. The business insider. <laughs> Tweeted, a anti-gay Hungarian politician has resigned after being caught by police fleeing a 25-man orgy through a window. You what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, wait, anti-gay? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Say that again? So he, he, He's what, a liar. He was, he was at orgy, though. He was With a liar. Man. Stay, start, start, oh, wait, go wait, from wait. the yeah. top. Okay, cool. He was at a 25 man orgy. An, an, anti-gay, an anti-gay person. An anti-gay Hungarian politician <clears throat> has resigned after being caught by police fleeing a 25 man orgy through a window. So he was inside getting busy, but these times he's anti-gay. He was doing the same thing. He just got to, he's got to die on that hill, man. I was telling them to stop. Thanks for listening. Hey Jay, hey. Everyone, Jay. make sure you yeah, get the trailers. Sure get the <laughs> Guy Fort's night, you're done though. <laughs> Yo, how can we miss True Jordy? Brother. That's, ain't that someone you've worked with? I have worked with you, Jordan. Right, so. You just had to get that one off. <laughs> 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 That's a good song. Oh, one one, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother, I mean, that's, that's, one, like, that. <laughs> that's a good return still. Oh, do you want to know this thing about this one, though? I remember working with him. There's, there's footage. <laughs> nah, man, I worked with you, Jordy, and the killer is, I thought he was a sound guy. I thought he was a sound guy. He was a liar, Jordy. Um, I, I didn't watch his content that deep because it's not my main interest, but I, you know, I was aware of him, and then, yeah, what he done is a mad thing, bro. Because it wasn't even like one occasion. Mm-mm. Yeah, he's done even, it. He's done times, it several so. times, and even in his apology video, oh, where he has to be sincere, he does it, and that's when I go, <clears throat> "True, Jordy, I'm sorry, my brother. What, you're you're, you're not a good guy, bro." Huh? Can I say that that for me was the for me that okay, was it. That was the biggest thing, car. If I'm being video. honest, huh? In his apology video. Yeah, just, okay, just for context, because some people might not even know what we're talking about. True yeah. Jordy True, True is a, YouTuber. what is he? He's a YouTuber, yeah? Yeah. Um, and I watch him usually when, like, Mitch is on there. Mm. When Mitch on is the on there, I watch it. You're on the kickoff. Yeah, so he had his channel, and he, the killer is, we, I channel. used to support a lot of his interviews because I knew he was a massive Newcastle fan, yeah. and I knew he wanted to get the Alan Shearer interview. So I was really happy for him really to get free. that. And everyone supported him, so on and so forth. He killed Nile Ranger a couple of times and gave right. him a bly. Yeah, but he speaks now, openly and honestly. He's like very direct about certain things and that, yeah. But these Muslim jokes were too but, much. Yeah, he made, a, he made a Muslim joke um, about uh, Andrew Tate. Because mm-hmm. he said, like, and I can't even remember what it was, but he then made a joke about it. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, like, okay, I have a dark sense of humour. I understand that that joke is definitely out of line. And I think that, like, if you're going on camera and you're saying these things, then you have to just understand that there's just going to be a crazy you amount of backlash. So I think... Especially as a white man. Right, that's true. Let's I, just be I honest and that. say what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, and then you're, you're, you're saying that, but your co-host has an Albanian missus that's Muslim. But that didn't stop you. Right. On the kickoff, you have Adam McCola. That didn't stop you. Like, come on, cuz. Do you know what it's, it's like? I, it's the dark humor I couldn't kill him for, but it's the platform that he's saying it on and saying it out loud. And I know that is mad to say, but to then be given an opportunity, where you give yourself an opportunity to apologize about it, mm. the apology was absolutely one of the worst apologies I think I've ever seen. Jordan, it was I know. So he randomly, bad. sorry to cut you, he randomly goes, I miss me mum. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> How do you go from apologising, talking bare things, and then these tears come and I go, I miss my mum. I know at the end he said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I said, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know, I know that was bad. Do you yeah. know what? I think it's just like, look, I got a dark humour. I said something out of line like on the platform. Sometimes I know, like, you know what I mean? You just, 
You own the joke, innit? I don't know. It was though. mad. I don't know if it's... Yeah, there's, there is dark humour there, but I feel like that was coming from a different place. He kept pushing that button, I mean, bro. Well, that, because, that because, just because what it's fueled off of, man genuinely doesn't like, man. Right. So this ain't about jokes flying and you made about... You, he, he pisses you off. So he's brought out something in you that's there. 100. That's what it looks like to me. That it's, joke. Yeah, it's kind of that. It's kind I of agree. The, I hear that. Do you know what? I didn't think about I it agree. like that. that it's joke kind of coming. the... Um, it's like... You know what, yeah, me and you are super cool and then and then you piss me off and then all of a sudden I'm like, and you, you fucking, you, you, you stink a curry anyway because you, you know, like that type of stuff and it's like, okay, now, <laughs> pushed the now, mic away, you know? now you can see that that's coming from a, a different di- place, a di- bro. Yeah, exactly. You're not saying this because it's a spare of the thing or whatnot. from a harboured area where Just you keep jo- that. Well, you're eating your fucking jollify, yeah? You yeah. fucking... Is that what you're, you know them, man, innit? You fuck, what, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. you fucking... <laughs> as Bob Marley, then. Yeah. But it's like, okay, if you're saying this in just a... You're just being stupid or whatever, mm. that's one thing. But when, man, when you've upset him and that's where you're coming from, ah, mm. what, yeah, you fucking... You and your fucking Bob Marley, then, mate. Yeah, mm. you, that's when you know, okay, mm. inside... You are feeling, and yeah, you have certain there, types of opinions. And yeah. the, the apology, I think, was like that's the only reason why I think everyone went mad. It's what? the apology video made it go even mad. That like, here's your chance. This is the first. What is it? he said? This is the first time that it's so convenient that they're all like, what was it that they're all trying to back him now or something like that? When it, I can't remember how he alluded to it, but it was like, oh, bro, you started this thing off. You know what? Do you know? Do you know? What I saw that was quite telling when it. Well, I think I think this was the apology video when he he started it with Satan Satan and his newly found religion. Like, right. I thought yeah, it's them little things there. Yeah. It's like the undertone. But you know what's so bad? Undertone. You're making jokes about this religion before Andrew Tate. So what's your reason? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. stop making it and right, centering right. it around an individual you don't so like. You not, made yeah. jokes about the your co-host's misses. Like, you keep doing it. It's a reoccurring theme. So now it leads me to believe that when the Twin Towers happen, you was one of the brothers that are like, get rid of everyone. That's no, most. He made, he you made a joke about that. One of them people. He would have been too young. He made well, a, they wouldn't have. He made a joke he about it. He wouldn't have because I. Did he make a joke about it? He made a joke about it. Clearly, was about the Twin Towers. Yeah, he's talking about how he was in school and. Uh, oh yeah he did yeah 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 and then he goes oh the guy's name was Ahmed and then he goes no it wasn't it was yeah, and then yeah, he gave a convention cuz cuz you know what's funny this what, is to mad. your point where he said it's conveniently they want to back him that's why I was mad at him yeah I know because you've give, you've actually given him something to fight back with you feel me mm. like come on this take guy should be out of here and you've given him something to well it shows that his thing is that what is kind of what you said is yeah, it's so personal. Yeah, mm. that like you, he can't even, he can't separate. The, I don't know, man. It's mad. You say what it comes. What's it? What's it? Go, what comes out in the wash, or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah, it's one of them that. situations. Yeah, you contain that. that stuff. A lot of people there containing all this hate and, and and things, and they just do a good job at acting in life, and yeah. it will come out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. true, Jordan. That, so you're great, right, man. you know. I, I mean, look, I just thought the joke was mad, even to just say out loud like that. Yeah, with the dark humor thing. But I think it's like most people identified the fact that, oh no, wait, you're talking from a place of not liking him, and this is what's coming out as you're not liking him. Oh wow! So was, wait, was, what do you actually really say behind closed doors when you don't like somebody? Mm. It's but like one what? thing you could have the dark humor behind closed doors, and we will have that, and we will say certain things. But it's like, wait. Oh, when you don't like somebody, this is what you say on a big platform. So what? when you don't like somebody, what do you actually say when no one's look, watching you? But do you know what my issue is? True Geordie has a massive platform, you know? Yes, yeah, There's cute. a lot of people involved. Hmm. I could be wrong. But you mean to tell me I have everyone filming in that room, everyone that edits, everyone that's involved in this production, no one saw a problem with any of them jokes? That just says to me the environment you're in that can happen. I thought it's it was. All was calm. it not a stream? Huh? Was he not streaming? I thought it was. No, a there's multiple jokes, so that just means oh, that yeah, of course. it's happened on multiple nice. occasions. People have to watch over it. People say no one said anything to him. Like you're making jokes about your brethren, <clears throat> your co-hosts, misses, and for some strange reason, he's comfortable with that. And I know Lauren. Something. No, I don't myself, think he was comfortable though. My brother, well, the first one. Well, okay. I don't know, boy. I just the last one anyway. The other ones I don't know, but the last one he was. He was definitely yeah, he trying tried to clean that up. up. He tried to clean that up. He saw it straight away. Yeah. He was like, uh, "This is a, this is a stereotype." Yeah. That immediately, he said. yeah, yeah. He was trying to, I don't know, and maybe 
I'm not blaming him because it's not his fault, but I think that like maybe in hindsight he's probably thinking that he should have just said, "Yo, maybe we need to just clip that quick." Because <laughs> that's a bit. How mad. about you just do the right thing, people? So, yeah. Stop I'm not. Po- I'm not blaming life, him on that. No, I'm just saying like. I- I, I can only use the example of Zion and Khalifa. It's so easy. When Zion does something wrong, I told Zion, don't do that. He apologises. And the older you get, all of these layers of life make the most simple thing complicated. Fam, my man was disrespectful to your missus. There's nothing complicated about that. You can't just go and say, oh, that's a step. But it's, it's your, you've made it your wife, cuz. <laughs> your <laughs> wife. <laughs> you made it your well, wife. He doesn't care about it. Well, I don't care. I think the whole thing's just, to me, that whole situation, all of them involved, it stinks. Yeah. It one. completely stinks. There's one Geordie left now, man. And the truest Geordie now happens to be oh, my man. brother, Geordie. I'm <laughs> just saying. Come and make sure. <laughs> Come and get, shake my head, kiss my <laughs> teeth. Go get the new Project with Cheeks. <laughs> this Geordie is left, the true man. Geordie now, man. The Project with Cheeks? <laughs> with Cheeks. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Everyone grow up. My dad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>